Let's suppose that a box of mass 15 kilograms is pulled with a force of 60 newtons at an angle of 30 degrees with respect to our horizontal. Now we want to find what the acceleration of the box is assuming that the coefficient of kinetic friction is 0 0.4. So let's label all the forces acting on our box. So we have a 15 kilogram box and we have two forces acting on the box. One force or two forces acting on the box along the y-axis. We have the force of gravity that's pulling on the box downward and we have the normal force, the force that our horizontal surface exerts on our box. Now, we actually have a third force acting along the y-axis pointing in the positive direction going up and that's the y component force of this force, the pulling force. Remember, we're pulling with a force of 60 newtons at an angle of 30 degrees and that means this force will have an x component and it will have a y component. So, we actually have three forces acting on the box along the y axis. So, in part A, let's calculate what the normal force of our box is. We'll need this normal force to find what the force of friction is. To calculate the normal force, we have to sum up all the forces along the y-axis and set that equal to zero. Why zero? Well, because our box is not accelerating, it's not moving along the y-axis. So, we choose upward along the y-axis to be positive and downward to be negative. So we, so we have two forces acting up and one force acting down. So the normal force plus the sine of the angle multiplied by F, 60 newtons, minus the force of gravity equals zero. So we solve, we rearrange our equation and solve for the normal force and we find that the normal force is equal to the gravitational force minus sine of the angle multiplied by F. So this becomes 30 newtons and we multiply this, subtract it, and we get the following answer. So 170 newtons is our value, the magnitude of the normal force and it points upward along our y-axis. Now, let's use this to find what the net force on the object is and then use the net force and the mass of the object to calculate our acceleration. So, now let's look at all the forces acting along our x-axis. So now our object is actually accelerating along the x-axis in the positive direction. So, we have to sum up all the forces along the, along the x-axis. So we choose going this way to be positive, going back to be negative. The sum of all the forces along the x-axis is equal to, so the force 60 multiplied by cosine of the angle theta minus our force of friction that's pulling it backwards. So this equals to, so cosine of the angle 30 multiplied by 60 newton gives us about 52 newtons and we subtract that from 0 0.4 multiplied by 117. So remember, the force of friction is equal to the coefficient of friction, of kinetic friction in this case, multiplied by our normal force, which was found to be 117. So we get 52 minus 46.8, and we find that our force along the x-axis, our net force pulling in the positive direction along the x-axis is 5.2 newtons. Now, we said this equals to m times a according to the second law of motion, and we find that 5.2 equals m times a equals 15 times a, so we divide both sides by 15, and we find that our acceleration of the object points in the positive direction along the x-axis and has a value of 0.35 meters per second squared.